Hi. Well, it was 18, so we've gone past it. Believe me, one of the ones out of the bag. It's actually nice and sunny outside, apparently. Monday, the 23rd of September, and I'll tell you what, let me do this. That's right, you're right, here we go, it's the 107 FM, and today, absolutely elated, because uh, we're talking to McKenna Faith Winters, coming out of Illinois, she records, yes, in Nashville, so we're going to get it underway, but I tell you what, uh, for everybody that's watching right now, welcome, nice to have you on board, if you're a first time viewer, very special welcome to you, and why not become part of the family, we call it the noise here at Galaxy, simply do this, sub, thumb, bell, bingo, bell notifications where we have important people much like today's artist, McKenna Faith Winters, looking forward to this, I really am, uh, sub, why not subscribe, become part of the family, yeah, and you know what to do with the thummy thing, right, yeah, get epileptic with it, like us a lot, let's kick it off, here is McKenna Faith Winters, I'm doing country tonight. So how are you feeling? You okay? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. So which part of Illinois? Um, very northern Illinois, almost in Wisconsin. Ooh, you're almost in Wisconsin. Do you follow baseball? Baseball? I play softball, I do. You play softball? Yeah. Okay. That, that's more like a Kiwi game here. We play softball more over than baseball here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yet again, we play rugby union. But you guys play gridiron, don't you? Uh, I don't know, actually. Your football. Helmets, pads. Football, yes. 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 Here in New Zealand, no helmet, no pads. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and sometimes we don't even give them shoes. <laughs> we bring them up tough here in New Zealand. We do. Yeah. Yep. We, we got the All Blacks. We do a thing called a haka at the start of the game. What's that? It's a war dance. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. A traditional war dance, it really is. And uh, wow. I must get Barbara to send you a video of one at some stage. Hi, Michael. Yeah, so uh, if you ever come to New Zealand, we have a few strange <clears throat> traditions. We really do. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a hoo hoo like scrub? No. Oh. Um, <clears throat> the locals, they're a delicacy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they really are. I'll have to get yeah. to send you a video of one of those as well. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know that, I don't know that you'd see it on the uh, cuisine list at your place, let's put it that way. <laughs> they're a little white bug. <clears throat> you fry them up and eat them. It tastes like peanut butter. Ah. It really do. Oh gosh, I see the uh, the boss is watching, and also Michael Spraga. Michael, congratulations, sir! You're Galaxy Male Artist of the Year. That is fantastic. Voted, would you believe, by the Galaxy Artists crowd, our, our family, the Noise. They all love your music. So well done for twenty four twenty five. That's fantastic, it really is. Michael Zidanowitz is watching as well. Great Harris. So let's have some fun. What do you reckon, McKenna? Yeah, let's go. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today joined live coming out of Illinois is of course McKenna Faith Winters. McKenna, welcome to Galaxy. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, it's an absolute honour, literally. I'm very, very humbled to meet you. I really, really am. Big fan of your work. And now I've been an engineer now for yeah, 40 something years 
and every now and again something really stands out. You, unfortunately, are one of those people that caught my interest and I wanted to know more about you. So I think it would be remiss of me to say, I'm doing country tonight. We opened up with that. Tell me all about this track. So this song, I went to a music camp last, um, in 2023, in I think it was March or April. Um, and this is where I've met these writers that wrote I'm Doing Country Night, and they were like, hey, do you want to sing this song? Do you want to record this? And we're like, yeah. So that's how it became my first single. So it was very exciting. You know, uh, right now, literally, you've got uh, 1,799 requests for it. It was the very, very first one that we started playing and still being requested this morning on the breakfast show. So believe me, absolutely fantastic. This one's got longevity. It really, really has. And I'd like to see it go for a little bit longer. Having said that, need to know a little bit about you. So uh, we do have a couple of questions for you. The first one is, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? X. <laughs> yes, or, I am on everything. Do you, you respond? Me, um, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, you just look up McKenna Faith Winters Music. I also have a website where you can um, order like merchandise, t-shirts, hat. Um, that's McKennaFaithWinters.com. So I'm everywhere. Now, as a fan, do you respond? I respond to everybody's, uh, mostly everybody's comments and stuff too, so yeah. You're lucky, believe me, I don't, to be very honest with you, I have people do that for me, <laughs> I never get the time. See Dad pacing up in the background there too, right, by the way. <laughs> that too. <so. laughs> very cool. John Burtz is joining us, nice to have you on board, John. That Mysterious Three Others, I wonder who they are. Just says three others, really it does. Uh, John, hi from uh, Denmark. Nice to have you on board, John, it really is. Today we're in Illinois. I actually thought we were going to Nashville, but that's where McKenna records. Now, tell me something about the recording studios. Let's give them a bit of a plug. Who, who are you working with over there? So I work with Cedric Israel. He's um, wrote the six first songs that I have put out. Um, he is my producer for most of them. Um, there's one more that I'll have coming out later that was not produced by him, but um, he has been great to us. I actually record in his basement, so he's been great to us to let us use that, um, and he's, he's just been great for us. So Very, very cool. Very talented. Uh, as an engineer myself, and believe me, I've been an engineer for more years than you want to know, and I've worked with some of the, you know, more prestigious artists in the world and work not only as front of house but as a recording studio engineer as well and believe me absolutely love 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 trying to just uh, trying to dissect what other engineers have done with other artists you know what i mean it's one of these things where it, it just seems to be a bit of a crazy thing that all engineers do we want to know how you did it you know what i mean so i right. listen intently at all of the music that's been produced by, by you here at Galaxy and absolutely love it across the board and think right now uh, I'm doing country tonight very first song instant hit straight away got to follow it up one girl to another tell me about this um, one girl to another um, Lily Gray she's actually from Australia she helped co-wrote co this song um, one Girl to Another is about um, talking to a girl saying, hey, this, this guy's not good for you. Um, just kind of letting them know and helping a girl out. Very, very cool. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, so far, only 1194 requests. Yep, 94 requests. But still climbing. Here is McKenna, Faith Winters on Galaxy. One girl to another. So how are you feeling, McKenna? Are you okay? I'm good, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, Jeff Johnson is watching. Nice to have Jeff with us and Sonny Morgan is with us as well. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and John, send me those tracks. John, send me those tracks. There you go, Barbara's told you. <laughs> Literally, she's good at that. <clears throat> so, McKenna, when you go to Nashville to record, how long does it usually take you to uh, pump out a track? Um, it 
takes a good probably eight hours, about eight hours to get there. We drive, so. Sure, sure, yep. Believe me. It's, it's quite a way, isn't it? I, I hear this isn't bad. I hear this isn't bad. Believe me, I've, I've had artists that it's taken a week to do a track. Yeah. Over the years, literally, I really, really have. Uh, but it, it depends on how many songs you record, too, sometimes. Um, like, usually we go down there to record two or three, so it does take, that takes about eight or nine hours, too. Mm, mm, yeah. Uh, believe me, I've, I've been there where you can actually whip out a song in a couple of hours, and it's ad yeah. absolutely perfect. And other guys, uh, they're there in about six weeks' time, still trying to get past the first track. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so I'm always interested in how long it takes an artist to whip out a track. I really, really am. Because uh, yeah. the, it's not necessarily how fast it is. It's more how confident somebody can actually sing the song and get it out there to the right, right, to the right quality standards. You know what I mean? So... Um, if, if you're whipping them out between six and eight hours, that's phenomenal. That's absolutely yes. brilliant. It, you know, so uh, all I can say is keep that good stuff going. Thank you. Okay. Um, I hope you're going to uh, continue sending us stuff. We'd love to continue promoting you. Yeah, of course. We've got new music coming too. So. Awesome. Awesome. Any Christmas songs? <laughs> no, actually, but we have talked about it. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Where are you? Thank you. <laughs> Don't know what they were up to, but uh, obviously they weren't paying attention, that's for sure. Uh, today we're talking to McKenna, K uh, Faith Winters, and I've got to be honest, I'm a very, very big fan of this young lady, and believe me, we were playing here at the ripe old age of 15, now 16 years of age, and absolutely busting it here at Galaxy. I have a young lady, her name is Susan, coming out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and she's asking McKenna, as a young artist, how do I get to the quality of, of talent that you're at, and how do I make it in the world like you have? Oh, it's the music industry is rough, but um, along the way you find great people, great artists um, that always help you out. I now have a vocal coach, so that helps a lot too. Um, helps with confidence. She does a lot of coaching with it too. Um, and it's, it's really just kind of an experience that you got to wait. It, it takes time um, to build any kind of um, social media, too. But if you love it, you just keep doing it. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you're coming into winter time right now, uh, you know, just on the precipice of winter. Are you looking yeah. more at recording through winter so that it frees you up for uh, doing shows through the summertime? Um, we, I will be working on doing shows for the summertime. Um, right now I don't have a lot booked and stuff, but I am working on a lot of stuff right now. Very, very cool. I tell you what, uh, when you do find out what your next summer schedule is, please let us know so that we can give you a bit I of will. a promo. We'd love to be able to let people know where you're going to be performing live, if you know what I mean. Yes, I will. Very, yeah. very cool. Cheryl Arnold is joining us. Hello, Cheryl. It's been a dog's age. Nice to have you back. Really, really is. We must catch up sometime. In the meantime, uh, McKenna, tell me a little bit about Backbiting. Backbiting. Uh, that was a fun song to record, actually. Um, there's, a, there's a written part in that um, that they made me do some funny sayings to get me to laugh about it. Because as a teenager, um, just talking in a song is just kind of weird at first. Um, but so Backbiting is... It's kind of about like, hey, why are you talking to about me behind my back? Like you, you act nice to my face, but um, you're really just being rude to me and just stop doing it. So that's what it's about. Fair enough too. So McKenna Faith Winters, and believe me, this one's fantastic. Twenty two hundred and twelve requests. Yeah, mm -hmm. backbiting. <laughs> you're right here at Galaxy. <clears throat> Okay. <sighs> 
How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah, I'm great. Nice, nice. How many countries are tuned in right now? 59.85. No, countries. Oh, countries. 162 countries tuned in. Wow. That's not bad. That's great. Thank it's 5985 you. cities, was that right? Yeah, okay, 5985 cities. Wow. All listening to you right now. <laughs> it's fantastic. It yeah, really that's is. great. It really is. So, um, <clears throat> plans for Christmas? Where are you going? Where am I going? We usually stay home for Christmas. Um, we go to my grandma's for Christmas morning, and then for Christmas Eve, we go to my aunt's house. So that's kind of a tra tradition. So. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do they have hot food or cold like us? I do, well, these are good. Barbara wanted to know, do you have hot food or cold on Christmas? Um, mostly hot, but there is, like, fruit and stuff and veggies that are usually cold, too. So Because yeah, it will be all snowy and everything over there, won't it? Yeah, it will be... Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, it is. You see Santa here wears board shorts and flip-flops. <laughs> True. We, we're in summertime over here when it's uh, when it's Christmas time, so we don't have the traditional snowy Christmas. Yeah. So uh, we go surfing, go to the beach, have a barbecue. Wow, that sounds fun too. It's just down the road, actually, the beach. we got a volcano just off our shore. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's about, what, 30 kilometres away from... 50 from shore. 50 from shore. Okay. Fair enough. And it's active. Oh. Yeah, it works. It, it, I've never seen it before. It, in fact, a cruise ship a couple of years ago landed people on the volcano to go and, you know, just have a look. And the thing <laughs> blew up and killed everybody. Oh, my God. Some of them. Yeah, it... it Fried them. Psst, done. <clears throat> and now there's a big legal wrangle over the people who uh, manage the place and the boating company that took these people there. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's weird. But we don't have any dangerous animals. <laughs> we no. don't. Yeah. That's the best thing. <laughs> you guys have a lot of dangerous animals, though, don't you? Crocodiles. Ah, uh, yeah. Snakes. 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 Dearie, 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 I don't know what those guys are uh, doing this morning. They're preoccupied by the looks of it. Today we're talking to McKenna. Faith Winters coming out of Illinois. And uh, believe me, absolutely love, love, love the work they're doing right now. And uh, right now, of course, we were just talking about Christmas time. It's not that far away, really. Time to start planning for your Christmas. And if you got any Christmas music, pass it our way, literally. Uh, you never know, Barbara might put you into the Christmas show. Might be one of those. <clears throat> anyway, today, of course, uh, McKenna, we absolutely love, love, love everything that you've been doing in the, in, the, uh, in the music industry. But how long have you actually been performing? How long have you been uh, singing? So I've been singing since I was little. Um, I really just started getting, um, started posting and putting it out there during COVID, so like 2020. Um, but I haven't been performing for long. I just started really performing this year, um, and, um, booking, booking gigs and stuff. So I'm really getting out there now. So, yeah. Very cool. Now, Mike was yeah. saying that you were performing in front of 20,000 people. Yes. Tell me all about that. Um, so yesterday, um... I performed at NIU, which is uh, Northern Illinois University. Um, it's about a 45-minute drive from my house. Um, and they had just beat Notre Dame, which was, like, the fifth best football team in the country. Um, so it was also, like, a family weekend, so they had everybody there. So there's about 20,000 people at this game. And I sang God Bless America. Absolutely fantastic. I bet you killed it, too. Really do. Having said that... 
Did you get the butterflies? Yes. Yes, I did. You be- Always. Believe me, I do too. Uh, I think it's healthy, literally. Um, very, very yeah. comfortable in front of, you know, a 1,000 to 150,000 people. No worries. Just don't put me in a room full of 10 people. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I, I, I agree with that. I don't like singing just in front of my parents sometimes, just like sit, standing there. Like in the car, it's different, like when the radio's on. But just standing in a room full of 10 people that are just... Yeah, it, looking at you. Yeah, yeah. believe me, I, I had to go and entertain, <laughs> believe me, uh, a group of retiree business people, right? Males yeah. and females, uh, these uh, men and women, there was about 60 of them, no music, right? And all they wanted to know was how Galaxy was such a successful radio station, not only throughout New Zealand, but around the world. How did, how did it happen, right? So here's me trying to explain right. this to all these retirees, and apparently I had two hours to do it. Yeah, believe me, uh, the only way I could do it, literally, was I actually got some of my artists and put them on a big screen, and we did an interview with these artists for these people so that they could cover the the whole idea. Otherwise, believe me, by myself, absolutely useless. Really couldn't do it. Put me in with a band on stage, and introducing people and having some fun with a real crowd, not a problem. Do get the butterflies, I really must admit, but I just don't like small crowds, I really don't. Yeah, right. So, basically to me, it was like someone I didn't deserve. (laughs) Yes, someone you don't deserve. Yeah, so believe me, I am absolutely loving this. In fact, would you believe, I play this in my car when I go home at night, so tell me, all about this track. Why am I liking this one more? Um, what, this is my first song that I actually wrote. Um, my idea um, that I put out there. Um, I wrote this with Corey Barker. He helped me a lot um, on just the, the melody, how to put the words to. But um, the song idea came from me. Um, I just I knew a lot about. I never had been in a relationship, and a lot of my friends had. Um, and just seeing the way had like people been treated, like you don't, I don't, they don't deserve you. So, yeah. You know, you're more growing up than you really think you are. You really, really are. <laughs> In the meantime, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and we're with McKenna Faith Winters, someone you don't deserve. <laughs> It's hot in here. It's only 59 degrees outside. <clears throat> it's not that warm it's outside, not. but uh, in here. Oh, honestly, um, <clears throat> add another 15 degrees for all the computers and monitors in here. And <laughs> right. Whew, summertime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can go yeah. through about three or four pairs of shirts in one <laughs> breakfast show. You really can. It gets really hot in here. Therese de Souza is watching. Hello, sweetheart. Honestly, I thought you would have been off to work by now. We've worked this young lady up in India an hour ago yeah. to do an interview. And, uh, of course, Therese de Souza is a very, very close friend of mine. In fact, I was in India last year, and she's the only person in the world I've ever let interview me. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Oh, great. look, I've, I've had... Many of people try and do an interview with me. The problem is I tend to want to take over. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Sharice de Souza, she's the only person ever to interview me. Dale Hammond is watching as well. One of the very famous Hammond brothers. Dale and Gail Hammond. And he's mm-hmm. watching right now. Hi, nice Dale. to have him on board. Um, <clears throat> I'll let you know a little bit more about India when we finish this because believe me you'll be very very interested in this you really really will and it's relevant to you because okay we want to be able to not only put you in a magazine there but you oh, never hi, know paul. what else might happen you know what i mean paul from india yeah, yeah. i'm sorry hey paul from prevention kerala oh, thank paul. you for joining us hello paul yeah. Um, Barbara and I literally went to India to host the show last year over there. And um, 
met Paul. We met Paul. Yeah. He's a great person. He really is. In the meantime, we have one more to go, my own time, and then we'll wrap it up. But, as I said, don't go anywhere because we are going to take some photos and bits and pieces, stuff like that. Put it into a cartoon, uh, put it into a movie and have some fun with it. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Dale Hammond says, I love you guys, Barbara and Grant, two of the best hosts in the world. Well, thank you, thank you Dale, absolute pleasure to have you watching us as well, and love to Gail as well. Having said that, now, McKenna, we've only been playing this for a very, very short time, but it seems like already you're making a connection with this. Uh, over 500 people have already requested it since we've been playing it. So tell me about my own time. My own time. So um, this song was given to me by Megan Kelly. Um, she's been a writer that's been with me for a while. Um, my own time, it's about kind of how society wants you to do stuff in the certain, um, at a certain time. And it's trying to it's trying to say like, hey, I want to figure out what I, who I want to be and what's going on in my life and how like I want to do it on my own time. You know, I get it, I really do. So, and, and believe me, we have only just released it, so we're going to be doing it official today. Joining McKenna Faith Winters, releasing a brand new track, My Own Time, here at Galaxy. How are you going? You okay? Yes, great. Nice, nice. I haven't said any dad jokes on you or anything like that, so I've been very, very nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'm full of dad jokes and all that sort of stuff, but uh, believe me, I'm very, very interested in you as an artist rather than me being a silly idiot, you know what I mean? So. Um, I would rather know all about you, if you know what I mean. So, yes, um, thank you. <clears throat> that's why I haven't. I mean, I could have said something like, uh, "Why doesn't sun, the sun go to university?" Why? Too many degrees, as it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, it's a dead joke. Yeah, one, <laughs> one young man said to me the other day, "How do you? Where do you keep all of these dead jokes that you come out with?" I said, I have a database. <laughs> Mike, you're allowed to laugh. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. When we wrap this up, I want to talk to you about uh, what we're going to be doing in India. Believe me, I think you'll be very, very fascinated. Honestly, when we got invited to India, uh, when we got off the plane and back in the car, Barbara and I were heading home from the airport, we both looked at each other and went, did that really happen? Hmm. And you'll, ex I'll, you'll understand why when okay. I explain this to you. Bit of a story. It is a bit of a story, but it's beneficial because it is related to indie artists like yourself. And it's the only reason why we're going to be doing this. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Believe me. In the meantime, let's wrap this up. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Been a pleasure. No, thank you. Thank you.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Yes, you got it right that time, well done. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. The guys in the uh, fishbowl are uh, really happy with themselves. They managed to attach the singer at the right time. Very, very cool. Now, McKenna, we are going to have to wrap this up. And you were saying that there's new stuff in the can coming in the near future. Will you pass it our way? Will you come back for another interview? Yes, of course. Absolutely fantastic. We'd love to be able to uh, follow your career as as you go through this. Now, are you familiar with the Galaxy Artist page on Facebook? Yes. All I can say there, McKenna, and I mean this wholeheartedly, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. And if I haven't said use it, please use it. Uh, the amount of people that go and have a look in there. It could be anything from a venue owner to a promoter to... Anybody, anybody like me, wants to know all about you. If you've got a new video, if you've got a new track, if you go into the opening of a shoebox, I really don't care. But the more times that you're in there using it, the more times people get to know who you are. You know what I mean? Then they yes. start following you. And before you know it, you've got a whole new fan base. Yes. Brilliant great. idea. One more thing. Next time you're near a recordable 58 microphone... How about doing some voice drops for me, saying, Hi, I'm McKenna Faith Winters, you can hear me on Galaxy, something like that, and we would love to be able to play it. Again, the more times that we get your voice out there, the more times we get your name out there, the more times people get to know who you are, and again, it leads to more people going to your website, buying your music, even, do you have a uh, merch store? I do, um, McKennaFaithWinters.com. I've got hats and t-shirts and bracelets, um, so yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to have to pass me a t-shirt now that I know you got one, so that I can wear it when I'm doing this. Yeah. Believe me, people do, and people have told me this too, while you're doing the interviews, Grant, I went on the internet, went and found the person that you're wearing, bought a couple of t-shirts, caps, and some koozies, and some picks. So it does work, you know what I mean? All about yes. generating a couple of bucks. Absolutely brilliant. So... I would love and be very, very proud to wear your brand while I'm doing this as well. Okay? Of course, yeah. Very cool. I've got to say thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Galaxy. It has been such a pleasure. And believe me, I think, McKenna, that your career is going to be a long and exciting one. I really, really do. And I'm very, very happy to say that we've been a part of that today. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. Absolute pleasure. Really is. In the meantime, folks, uh, have a very happy and successful day. Barbara and I will be back between 5, 5.30 in the morning and 10 o'clock for the breakfast show. Why not join us there? In the meantime, happy radio, everyone. How was that? <laughs>